El Mahamedi. Towards Odebajo. Nice turn away from Diami. He's going to get the first shot away for the Tigers. And it wasn't too far away. Curling away from Rob Green's far post as we look at it. But he managed to get himself in some good space. The number 17. Here's Klukas. Haven't seen too much from the number 11 so far. Might Livermore gives the ball away cheaply. This invites QPR to come forward. Polter with a shot, blocked by Davis. They're going to get another bite of the cherry here. Great opportunity, this. Lovely block. Tackle coming in from Maguire. Davis will go back towards McGregor, but he's passed it straight out of play. It's going to be a corner. And a loose pass from the Tigers invited QPR forward. And then they didn't take the best chance, arguably, of the game so far. They broke in a 3v2. Lucas swings it in, looks for the head of Myler, flicked on, and it was Hernandez who tried to get the last touch, but he couldn't make a connection. Rangers with a opportunity then, swung in towards that back post, across the face of goal and headed away. Shot comes crashing back in, and it goes over the top of the crossbar and out of play, but that possibly was a little bit too close for comfort for the Tigers. Alejandro Fallin was the man who shot back across the face of goal, but Grant Hall as well was in there to try and steer the ball into the back of net, played right into the heart of the six-yard box, near the back line, and then headed across the face of goal. There was no man in blue and white. McGregor tried to make himself big. Klukas doing enough to flick the ball away, crossing a plenty in this first half between these two sides. And Will Klukas... Deliver a good cross. Maguire with the intended target. Flicked back across the face of goal. Maguire is going to leave this for Robertson. Wide by the Scotsman. Very much entitled to have a go. Shooting through traffic. And it was the final piece of action of the first half as Keith Stroud puts the whistle to his mouth to signal half-time. It's as you started here at Loftus Road. It's QPR nil, the Tigers nil. QPR had to make plenty of clearances in this match so far the Tigers camping inside the final third here they go again El Mahamedi good ball played in Klukas will have the opportunity to shoot blocked at the first attempt just need something just to ignite them up front you would feel the Tigers Myler now a counter-attack perhaps here comes Diame Myler's continued his run. He's got Hernandez over on the far side of the box. That's a lovely ball towards Hernandez. That is wonderful. In a game which hasn't really deserved a goal, a magical ball played from Diami towards Hernandez and then a delicate finish to cap off a fine counter-attack. And just past the hour, Hull City have themselves the lead, which has been so rare of recent times away from home. QPR gave the ball away far too cheaply. And then the Tigers bringing the ball forward with Diami. And what about that for a pass into the path of Hernandez? And Rob Green is beaten. Hernandez unmarked. And then he strokes the ball home. And that's double figures for the Uruguayan. Ten goals in the league for him. And Tigers at the moment are trying to drag the players out of position, but they've lost out on the ball. And here come QPR with Phillips. Good looking cross, punched away by McGregor. And then what a shot that is, but into the side netting. Certainly powerful. And Paul Koncheski, who we know can fire them with power attached to accuracy. Robertson tries to link up. Here's Diami, gets himself into the penalty area. Will it get better for Hull? Diami across the face of goal. It does go out for a throw-in, however. Diami was the man who took the ball off Robertson. And that all of a sudden just opened up for the Tigers inside the penalty area. Diami wasn't able just to get the ball under his full control at first. That forced him wide and then shooting across the goal mouth. And Adama Diamande comes on. He's only had 43 minutes game time so far. Hasn't started 
for the Tigers yet. Was brought in on deadline day. And of course, the transfer market is back open tomorrow. And will the Tigers be making any purchases in the January window? Big chance and a goal! The Tigers cannot hang on to the lead. And it's Polter who heads the ball home. QPR working their way up the left-hand side. Good cross played in. This time, someone was there to head the ball home. And it's Charlie Austin standing striker. Number 33, Sebastian Polter. And Queen's Park Rangers, with just four minutes to go, have got themselves an equaliser. Good work. Down the far side, Matt Phillips supplying the cross. And then the header, McGregor did get a connection but it wasn't sufficient enough to turn the ball away. Queen's Park Rangers won, Hull City won. Oda Bajo. the Tigers do have late goals in them. They have done it on a couple of occasions. Snodgrass, Huddleston. It's a cross now towards Robertson. Klukas. Can he get away from Anua? Gets the ball into the middle, it's going to drop, it's in! Adama Diamande jogs away in celebration. Rob Green came out to punch a mix-up in the back lines of Queen's Park Rangers. But it is the first goal for the Norwegian, he will claim it. Whether it will go down as an own goal, we'll wait for the replay, but Hull City... The thing that matters is they are back in front in the 90th minute again. They did it against Reading at the KC and now they've done it on the road. There was the cross. Rob Green went to punch. A possible communication breakdown between him and Grant Hall. And then Adama Diamande supplies the final touch. Steers it home. And Hull City now just have six minutes of added time to look after this lead, which they have reclaimed. QPR 1, Hull City 2. To Livermore. Keep ball for the Tigers, and there it is, full time. It looked as though the Tigers had lost their lead and QPR had snatched a point, but Adama Diamande gets his first goal. It may not be the prettiest of goals, but they all count, of course. The number 25 has his first goal in a black and amber shirt. And two goals tonight for the Tigers, and three points, which is the most important. Hull City, a win away from home for the first time in five matches in all competitions. And they start off 2016 with the best result possible. Abel Hernandez putting the Tigers in front first of all. Mo Diami's lovely pass into his path set the Tigers on their way.